Good morning, everyone. All right, how's our audio looking here? Got some good levels, got things going on. All right. So we're just poking around today. Just getting some stuff done. Answering any new player questions. Oh, I forgot to uh, let people know. Uh, yeah, we'll give them one of these. There we go. Go, cheese, go. Hey, welcome, Rust. Welcome, mine. Carpo, happy to have everyone popping in, saying hello. We're just kind of playing through a regular day here. Evening, yeah, whatever time it is in the world for you. And, uh, yeah, we're just looking at, uh, when ROI. Fair enough. A valid question. Uh, every day, all day. Um, so, gotta remember to claim Dusk from the artifact. Grab that right away. Hey, welcome on in. First time. There is no profile. Happy to have you. Um, we'll finish up some of our stuff here. Hey, Kevin, welcome. I recognize your name. All right. Oh, we don't uh, we don't have any empty solar panels or any empty uh, cells right here. So we've got to dump some into some of our mining rigs. Get those going. Hi, Mr. Cheese. Hey, Sean. How's it going? How are people doing today? Um. Okay, we have a lot of stamina, so we'll dump some of that into some of these buildings here. Looks like lots of stuff finished up. Probably a lot of, like, plates and methane. Yeah, okay. So we'll, you know, recharge some of these buildings, get them going again for tomorrow. <laughs> okay, so the soundtrack has been in the game now for, you know, a little bit. What are everybody's favorite sound or favorite tracks on the soundtrack so far? Do we need more titanium? Yeah, we'll make some titanium plates here. And uh, we're getting all our reactors going on methane, trying to pump out as much as we can. Uh, we're starting to run out of hydrogen though, so we'll, we're gonna have to switch back there kind of pretty quick. You play on mute! Uh, okay, fair. I mean, you know. Not for everyone. Sometimes you want to play your own stuff. Uh, the new track, though, absolute banger. Love it. Okay, so we've reset all our buildings on this plot. Uh, we should have enough empty power cells now to go back and charge them up over here. So you can plug these guys back in. Oh, nope. Okay, got to use up some more. Um, I wonder if we can get any of our smelters turned on. 20 copper ore is kind of nice, though. Yeah, we could get, like, this one. You prefer muted? Everyone prefers muted! Alright, fair enough. To each their own, I suppose. I gotta play that new track, though, yeah. Uh, okay, so we can get two copper going here, and then we have enough to plug in. Yeah, another stack of power cells. I think I might have to buy some empty power cells. Uh, I'm really like, if I hit collect all here, I'm gonna get like a hundred probably. A hundred full cells maybe? A uh, hundred and five. So like I have, you know, we gotta put all these power cells somewhere. I suppose we could stack them up in here somewhere. These will all eat up a little bit of power at least. We get seven electronic parts. That's probably enough for us to put together another hauler or another explorer. Yeah, we can build another explorer. Oh boy, all right. Another explorer being slapped together there. I think we're building one somewhere else as well. You use that smelter? Uh, Yeah, there's not a, a lot of liquidity on uh, copper for as much copper as I need. <laughs> I've got a few spare smelters, though, if anyone's after a mythic smelter. Uh, I think we're making more plates here. Yeah, I'm always happy to, like, sell some stuff to any of the people who are interested and who want, you know. Uh, I think I posted it last night, but, you know, if anyone wants any of the buildings. There's two smelters here, and I think we've got one more on the market as well. So we have, like, three... Hey, what's the plan? Hey, how's it going? Yeah, we have three smelters to sell. 
Ah, we're just running through everything, resetting some buildings, answering some questions from new players. I know Steve had a big thing going today, so we were hoping to be a little bit available for that, uh, if we can. I think what we really need is more libraries, but we can't get them just yet. Um, we're just gonna plug in all of our power, reset all of our buildings, and see what a regular day looks like as we go through our... Uh, our empire here. I guess the other one is, uh, how many plots does everyone have? Steve is also live. Yeah, so we'll probably head over there after we're done, or he'll head over here. We'll see what, which one we end up doing. We do have, we have some power here. Oh, right, we're out, we have no regolith. <laughs> one plot, I mean, one plot's all you need. That's, you're still ahead of, like, loads of people. One plot, a bunch of people built around me. Yep, sounds about right. What kind of stuff are people running? What do you have on your plots? Oh, nice. We can actually stack. Okay, we actually we need to go buy regolith for this because we have to make a bunch of electronic parts. Or maybe we have regolith finishing somewhere. More would be nice, yeah. Well, what are you running on your plots right now? What buildings do you have going? Yeah, I think I uh, went too heavy on ice on my last cycles here and now... I've got loads of ice coming in, but I have no regolith coming in. Gotta, yeah, gotta step this up. Just drop like, that'll be like 2,000 regolith out of that task. Yeah, and oh, I don't think we're doing anything with these chem labs. I guess we could upgrade them. Uh, I'm always a little hesitant because like, you know, this, this is going to be our little, like, uh, broken power cell repair plot. We're going to get all these little chem labs going here. Are we a little bit off here? Let's, uh, oh yeah. We're, uh, we're sticking off the edge of the screen. Hey, DK, how's it going? How's your day going? What are you up to? Um, we probably have enough. It's just so expensive, and I think I need to buy some stuff. Three rare solars, two common solars, rare water filter, uncommon greenhouse, cantina pirate, uncommon grind and brew. Hey, that's fantastic. That's like, that sounds like an ideal uh, setup for a new player. Loads of solars, everything else. Hey, Ashen Hood, welcome on in. Can we show the use of the library? Yeah, we talked about it a little bit on our last stream, but um, what are you wondering about? Uh, I mean, I can talk about anything in particular. Solar, rare solar, a cat, a smelter, epic machine shop. Oh, wow, those are some nice factory buildings you've got going on. Out of space, yeah, that'll happen pretty quick if you're placing any of those factory buildings. Uh, what else do we have? To oh, we have to turn these guys on. Let's get these going. Hey, Romeo, thank you so much for the raid. Welcome on in, raiders. Anyone have any questions about Million on Mars? Let us know. Is library only useful for advanced player or a new player as well? So one of the things I would say for newer players who are getting the library, raid, 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 hey, welcome on in everyone. Um, oh, can't do that, don't have enough stuff. Gotta do this one, let's get them going. New player two from teams, ah, right on, that's exciting. Oh man. Do you have any questions, wondering about anything that's going on? Um, so Ashen, to answer your question, for new players, uh, at a level one library or a lower level library, you could be creating research papers for people and selling these, because they're relatively cheap to produce. They only use a bit of paper and some common, um, common building shards, but these research papers should sell for a lot more than they are. Uh, stuck with new buildings, don't know which to go next. Panels, greenhouse, CAD, filter, what should I be going for? All right, gig NFT, we'll tackle that here in just a second. Uh, yeah, we're not doing the degen thing today, I don't think. We tapped out a fair bit last night. Um, but yeah, so for the library, I think newer players who are just getting in, if they want to be using the library, should be making research papers. Research. Um... So you could make these base ones, which I think should be selling for more than they are. I just bought the first ones at 10 because I think 10 is incredibly cheap. And people sold me a whole bunch of them. I have like 75 now. Because each research paper takes 24 hours to produce. That's a massive time investment. So anyway, I mean, it costs a couple of paper and a common coin to make. So these are probably good production value, if I had to guess. 
Um, at level 2 library, which is also relatively, like, pretty easy to achieve, you could be pumping out any of these other papers, right? Life science, chemistry research, and, um, those will do pretty well as well, because these are going to be pretty niche products that people will pay for to not have to waste all the time. Alright, what do we want to go for next after panels, greenhouses, cads, filters? Okay, so... Always more panels, Rust says, is, you know, great advice. You can always use more solar panels. Um, I have yet to hit a place where I think buying more solars would be a bad thing, no matter how big I seem to get. Um, okay, let's get all of these going on Regolith really quickly as well. So after your core buildings, you want to start deciding, you know, based on your budget, what you're going to expand into. Are you just using your returns and you're going into like one more building specialization? Maybe the pirate radio, maybe the tea shop, like one of those special buildings that doesn't have a whole ton of depth because you don't have to learn everything there is in the game, right? Um, I say those buildings in comparison to like the cantina, for example. The cantina for a new player can be a little overwhelming because of the amount of tasks and like how how much depth there is to acquire all the different things that you need in that building. Do you think in the future it's possible to send a message to a specific player to buy and sell the land to the player near you? Absolutely! That is a feature that is talked about. Um, it's not specifically like on the roadmap ready to go, but it is... Uh, something that we're planning on having uh, and what that might look like is I click on you know this land next to me and I see who owns it and I would have a button right here that goes to a, an offer where I can go say hey I would like to see what that building or I, I would like to send you an offer on that plot maybe a link to the atomic hub uh, asset or something along those lines right a special tea building. Yeah, so the tea shop is an okay first step. You could start making and selling baiju. Uh, this is like... It, it uses your greenhouse to grow everything that is required. So basically you could start making uh, alcohol on Mars. It's a, a, a pretty good intermediate step. It gets you kind of familiar, familiar with how supply chains work. Um, advanced guide on buildings. Absolutely. Um... I can grab it and link it for you. Uh, player guide. There you go. Uh, yeah, so figuring out which tasks are profitable is just like a big chunk of playing the game. Um, because Baiju has a lot of uses. You can use it for happy hour when happy hour comes up. You can ship it all off. Uh, in cases and send it back to Earth, or whatever lore you want to insert, whatever your own headcanon is for where this Baiju is being sent. Um, did we finish loading everything up? Isn't Pirate Radio should have a new recipe? After we reach the global goals, the recipes in Pirate Radio will change to provide random resources and items. Yes, so this is something that we talked about. Uh, so the Pirate Radio, it's not an immediate change as soon as we hit the goal. But now that we have hit the goal and we have the music player, uh, these recipes will be changing. So those, all those warnings and all those announcements are to let people know that this is coming so that they aren't blindsided by those changes when they do happen and, you know, help combat a little bit of the, um, hey, why didn't you tell us this was coming? You know, those, those issues, right? Um... I think I tackled most people's things so far. Uh, send a message to player and buy their land. Yeah, we talked about this. We sent out the guide. I've read that one. Didn't know if there was anything else that showed how the buildings feed off each other. Oh, um, maybe, well, maybe the YouTube tutorial would be beneficial for that. Um, you could definitely check it out and see if it applies. But the YouTube tutorial is very succinct. It's like two or three minute videos on each building, so... Hey, what's up, iHustle? Welcome on into the chat. Happy to have you here. Uh, can we charge one more? We can. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, the YouTube channel. Lots of stuff going on over there. 
Uh, do we have room in... Oh, yeah, okay. We have some other things to charge up here. Some more stuff to get going. Keep making some more plates. Yeah, yeah. Great day here. Sunny out. Nice, warm. Starting to be spring. I know that's, uh, you know, most people are pretty big on it. I, I personally miss the snow, but, you know, I'll get by. <laughs> Uh, I guess, I don't think we want to be making more ice. I think we'd need regolith. We have, like, tons of ice already. Have I accidentally hit max recharge in a factory? I have not. That sounds awful. Uh, dumping all your stuff in and being sad about it. Um, okay, I think we need regolith for this guy. Right? How much do we need for this? Another 1,500 regolith? Oh, you've done that? Oh, man, that's a tough time. <laughs> Oof. Uh, okay, so let's buy 1,500. We'll pay, like, 0.1... Oh, let's not pay 10 per regolith. That's expensive. Is that... Are we gonna... Is that gonna work? Can we sell some cheap vibes? Oh, man, I'm, uh, I'm very low on vibes. Do my thing randomly, wondering where your 100 power disappeared. Oof. All right, so we'll grab that. Yeah, we've got some research papers up for like 500 a piece. I don't really know how to value them yet, so that's why they're listed at that price. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, okay, this next song, very quiet. Um, let's dump some more power in here. Probably turn this player up a little bit. And five more work orders, so if we're lucky, these five should net us an another eight, so we can get another uh, Explorer rover going. Oh, and we gotta make some wheels. Uh, and then otherwise, I think we're pretty set. Are we making wheels anywhere? I think we need to turn on the wheels. Oh, here's a reactor. We could turn this thing on. Uh, we could put like seven in here. Just give it loads of power so we don't have to worry about it. Okay, so now we can actually start plugging in some power cells. We've got... Uh, this is probably just going to be all of them. Yeah, 39 power cells into that one solar panel. I think we got to buy empties. We got... Like, these are going to fit another 66. I, I need to buy some empty power cells, I think. <laughs> I think this is the result of a lot of ours breaking. I need, like, 100 of these. Oh, I'm not going to be able to afford 100. Well, I guess I'll buy like 60 of them. For like 10 and a half. Is that, is that a good amount? Uh, yeah, you lost all your power cells. Has anybody else done that? That sounds like an awful mistake to make. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Oh, we didn't. E they didn't even buy. All right, maybe we have to make empty power cells at this point. Uh, is the player guide having periodic updates? Some stats are not there, like duration of the greenhouse, reward of things, minor rewards. So, if there's anything missing from that player guide, um, you need to put it in player feedback and ping uh, Babu on Babouche, I believe. He's the the guy working on the player guide. How he, oh man, this new UI is fantastic. Favorite buttons. What are everyone's favorite new features and updates and things that they've added in? Because, like, for me, this is by far the best button that exists. Is the... These Max and Min buttons. Oh, you can dump all your power cells at once without having to do it. Complete at the top? Yeah, this is a such a nice uh, quality of life change as well. This is so huge. Like, this is... I am so, so happy that we're addressing concerns that players are bringing in in such a fast turnaround. Um, yes. Very good stuff. Very great. Um, let me just do some things hold on press some buttons oh we're gonna probably get a bit of an echo here for a second uh, okay all right hold on 
just a few things to do and get going. There we go. Okay. All right. Uh, put 1400 power into the chem lab. Yeah, you like how we briefly hovered on that one? Isn't that rough? <laughs> I think we have to make some power cells, maybe. So we need to start pumping out some PVC. And probably a few other things. So, PVC, iron ore. Uh, I think we only have the one uh, 3D print shop, actually. We might have to place a few more. Hmm. That may be an issue. Uh, okay, what else do we have to make? Rover wheels, electronic parts. We could get another chassis going. I think we actually do need to place down another... 3D print shop. We could get we could get some more going here, I guess. Do we have we have a legendary? We could throw that down. Oh, we have two epics. We could just place one of these. Size 25, size 30, 25. Max level just became max. Ah, uh, yeah. You mean uh, up here? Let's look at one of our buildings and see what we're saying here. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it just, it's not even on the top for this guy. Early bird, hey boss, welcome on in. Uh, okay, so it might be time to go check out one of our other plots, because I think in order for us to put more power cells in, we're going to have to dump power into some of these. Uh, well, we could do that, I guess. Let's dump, like, ten power into each of our rigs, just to get rid of some... Or just to gain some empty power cells here. Um, and then we can throw those power cells into... Oh, this this guy. There we go. We can throw a full 15 in here. Um, where else needs power? This rover works. Uh, this rover works? Nope, that's got lots. This one? There we go. This one needs power. Let's throw 25 in here. We can throw 25 in the other one. Is there any advantage for having plots next to each other? I'm a complete new player. Yeah, yeah. So you want to try and place your plots next to each other for future expansions. Um, there, you know, it's been very clearly stated uh, that having three or more plots together is going to be an advantage in the future. Um, that's if you're planning on, you know, using some of our future content. Uh, settlements, expansions... Uh, habitats. Is there any plans to allow folks to rearrange the order of buildings on their land? Mostly OCD for me, but might help with some workflow. Um, so there is, you know, uh, I don't know about reordering plots on the land. I know, like, other people have asked about the feature, and it's something that people want. Um, and I'm sure, like, the team are aware of that. Um, and it would be a great feature to implement. I think that's pretty much it. Three in a triangle, any three lands. So just three connected lands. Soon with the settlement update. Mm -hmm -hmm -hmm. All right. Hey, bud. Uh, that's that's going to be something to take up with support. Sorry. Uh, yeah, not here on the stream. We're, uh, we're just answering new player questions, and we're playing some games today. All right. Let's upgrade some other buildings. And what can we do here? We're basically out of power. So we can dump like two more here. Mm, and we can capture two carbon dioxide. That's it. I wonder if we have power on other plots that we can use. R6 solar panels worth. Oh man, get your solar panels leveled up. So like the difference between an entry level solar panel and a leveled up one like this is crazy right this thing has uh at max level it has the capacity to charge 21 cells at a time and it only costs 14 stamina all right yeah like i said take it up with support just have a chat with them over there send them an email have that back and forth the twitch stream is yeah, not, not really a place for that. Sorry. We're not a support channel here. This isn't the support desk. How do you get higher level... Higher level empty power cells? 
Uh, higher level empty power cells. I'm not sure exactly what you mean, Kevin. Do you mean, like, the tasks? Charge power cells too. Oh, okay. Yeah, you mean the tasks in the solar panel. So basically, um, as your solar panels level up, they unlock by upgrading. So I can actually go over here and look at a different area of mine. Hey, we sold off one of these lands earlier today. Um, and we can see... Oh, man, I need so many more empty power cells. It's like another hundred that I have to deal with. Anyway, uh, so you can see when the common solar panel hits level three, it has this charge two power cells in the one slot that it has. Uh, where the ones that are only at level one or level two don't have that ability yet. It's only when they hit level three that they unlock the next recipe. So you can kind of see, like, as you level up your solar panels, they'll unlock more and more recipes and get better and better. So, like, a level five uh, legendary solar panel will... Does this say... It doesn't say in there, but basically right now we could charge 33 cells for 22 stamina uh, using this top ability, and it would take us 15 hours. And when we hit the last level, we can get that right down to 13 hours. So, like, it's it's worth, to me, spending the 500 dusk. Use the same empty power cell. Yeah, so you still need the same empty power cells in order to go and to charge your, your power cells, but you need to level up your solar panels in order to unlock them. Um, so right now what we're going to do is throw, like, 60 power cells into this building. Uh, different levels of power cells. Ah, no, no, no. Yeah, you got it. Um, just so we can have 60 power cells to plug in somewhere. So we can now, you know, charge some up here. We're going to have room to charge some more up on the next solar panel. And maybe we do want to be upgrading these legendaries to get this time down from... Uh, from 15. Oh, yeah, okay. So let's uh, let's upgrade one of these maybe. 500 Dusk is just such a hefty price for like three hours faster. I'm just really debating... Debating on that one. Uh, yeah, like I said, man, sorry, like this is just not the place for it. Uh, you're welcome to like hit, hit someone up on the support email or the Discord or whatever. Someone will get back to you, don't worry. Uh, you can make more by upgrading at the same time faster, expanding the cap capability to simultaneously charge more cells. Yeah, so that's the main thing here, is that you can plug more cells in at the same time. So that's the biggest benefit. Um, here, we're going to have to find somewhere else to put another... Oh, so we could plug some power cells in here, like 10. And we can get some water filters turned on, because I think we have like w like massive amounts of excess ice... So we'll start filtering some water. Um, I don't think we can, we're not going to turn on any grind and brews. Uh, that's going to eat a lot of our work slots. 21. We'll have enough to turn on this last solar panel, though. Um, do we have enough empty power cells? We do not. We need 22 more. Can we put 22 power cells in here? We can put 21 in here. All right. Uh, so we need to find somewhere else to dump like just a couple more. When did I start the game? I was playing the game in beta before it was launched. So I played right from the very, very, very beginning. Um, is there any benefit to buying mythic buildings? Absolutely. Uh, you would have a mythic building. Uh, all right. What are the dust coins that are next to the tasks? Uh, so are you talking about... Oh, right here? Um, so you'll notice that a little while ago, like, we ran out of, uh, stamina to be doing all these jobs, right? So there's no way that I can pay another 22 stamina. So I pay somebody else to do the job instead. And I pay one dusk per stamina, and that's the dusk that you see on there. So yeah, it's jobs getting posted. And you have a limit of 300 of them. 
and uh, they all pile up in a list and you can go check them you can actually see exactly who's working for you as well all the names populate on a list it's pretty cool stuff um, we have to drop a little bit more power well, I think it was like 22 so let's just put a bunch of power in our greenhouse because I know we'll use the greenhouse eventually hey PD welcome on in happy to have you here we're playing games on Mars. Uh, we don't have much. We can't grow mushrooms yet. I don't think anyone's given out any mushrooms, and we don't know how to grow them. If anyone's found this recipe, please let me know. I will happily pay you to learn how to grow mushrooms on Mars. Um, and then I will. Oh, I gotta. I need one more. All right, one more power cell. There we go. Guess the math was off just a tad there. Dump some more in here, ready to go. Max order limit, 21. Aren't we only doing, we have 21 slots. Aren't we charging, aren't we doing 11 here? What am I missing? We're doing 20. Am I missing something? We're doing 20 jobs, or 11 jobs? Isn't this 11 jobs? And we have 21 work orders. Maybe I have to claim the ones over here first to free up the slots. Paper and research papers in the market. How are they linked? Uh, so you use paper to generate research papers. 11 jobs at two stamina per job. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, was it because okay i mean we've got some more slots freed up now 49 so we'll see how many that thinks it's using so how many do we have left oh i have no power cells that's not great because we have so much power generation on this plot uh but yeah you use paper to make research papers uh in the library can i reproduce the recipe and sell it to you uh you cannot rust you have to just Oh, I mean, if you keep doing the um, the chemistry research over and over again, you <clears throat> will have chances to unlock more. So you can get the drop over and over again, but you can't do anything to, to reproduce the research itself. Um, okay, so we got a lot of empty power cells, or a lot of empty solar panels, and no power cells to plug in. I think we have to head back over to our other... Uh, where's our other area here? This guy. We also got to turn on some music for sure. Go buy more empties. I mean, they're just so expensive though. Uh, oh, nice. This is the new one. We probably do just have to buy more empty cells though. Baseline of volatility. A four library doing archaeology got six, eight, seven, six. Uh, okay. So let's have a look over here. So that's the base level thing. Oh, I see. So basically all this is saying is you're probably going to get a range maybe like 6 to 10 most of the time. And then that volatility that says, uh, it says on the player guide, right? It's like 10% of the time or 5% of the time or something for a, a good chance. That means you're going to hit that high range. So like most of the time you're right at the bottom of the range. Some of the time you hit the very, very high range. When am I going to sell my stuff? Uh, I've been selling my stuff. It's out on the market. People can buy it any time. Or do you mean like my NFTs? Or my in-game assets? Hey, got a question. I'm, uh, yeah, uh-huh. Own one land. Now what I can... Oh, okay. So, how do you acquire a land as a new player? That's a good question. That's one we can tackle. So, as a new player, what should you do? You should be scavenging every day. You should uh, save up your rations. Definitely don't be eating your rations. Um, and after you've saved up 30 rations, and you've probably sold off some of your stuff from scavenging, so you've got 250 dusk saved up, you can grab yourself a dusk works accommodation uh, by pressing this button here. So, what do you do after you've got that dusk work accommodation? It uh, sits in your inventory and it says, you know, you've earned one of them. You can head over to the shop uh, on the top here. Oh, like, is this swivel? This sounds like swivel. 
No, wait. Swivel doesn't have words. Ah, this is million. This is just track number one. Um, and then we're going to go down the side of the list here. And we're going to look for Duskwork Accommodation, because it matches the thing that we grabbed. And you can see, you can trade it in here. Just stopping to really enjoy the music there for a second, because, man, soundtrack's amazing. Um, yeah, so we're looking at uh, saving up 30 rations, 250 dusk, and then snagging one of these uh, common Gen 2 lands. Uh, after you've got the land deed, you're going to have to head out to the map. Will they be restocked if they sell out? Uh, don't have that information, but just based on past gameplay and how things have developed, uh, you'll generally always be able to spend your money on something. So, you know, lots of these things have sold out in the shop, but there's never zero things to spend money on, right? Like, there's the pirate radio here, there's a bunch of land deeds here, there's still land surveys here. So yeah, all that stuff. Gotta try it, yeah, of course! Um, just save up your money, or if you don't, uh, if you save up a thousand, you can also buy one here. For starting the repair of batteries, is there a term that the recipe repair should be? Uh, okay, so I think what you're talking about is in the chem lab, repairing broken power cells? Is that correct? And you're talking about what does this mean, right? Uh... So basically, when you get a recipe uh, from the library, so in the library, when you're doing your life science research that we're doing right now, or you're doing chemistry research, there's a chance to drop a recipe. So you're gonna take that recipe after you get one. I mean, it's a pretty low chance, but eventually you'll, you'll get a recipe. Um, and you'll take it to the shop, and you'll go to library research. Then you will turn in that recipe here, <clears throat> changing your number of known recipe for this recipe from 0 to 1. So all that this uh, chem lab is looking at when they're saying repair these power cells is, do you know this recipe? Because you have 0 because you don't know it. As soon as you have a 1 here, 1 is greater than 0 and this would not be red, it would turn white and then you'd be able to do the recipe. You can learn the recipe multiple times. I don't know why you would. You would probably just want to sell it for dusk on the market because there's no benefit. Um, you could be the best power cell three repairer, but the you know there isn't a plan for that to matter right now. So right now it's just kind of a waste of money. <clears throat> when I'm sure people will pay a premium for the ability to repair their power cells. That's a good one. How many? How many? Oh, wow. Well, yeah, our angle's a little high today. Um, how many power or broken power cells is everybody sitting on? Uh, how, like me personally, how I take profit or how, how to sell your dusk on Alcor? Because that's the general method. Um, but you could also sell like plots of land that you develop to other players for wax as well. Um,. Yeah. Okay, so me personally, if I start clearing, usually when my dusk goes over like 15 or 20,000 is when I'll take about 10,000 out and I'll turn that into wax. But usually I find I just end up buying more stuff on the sales. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Um, but the other thing you can absolutely do, which is what I've been doing lately, is build plots of land that are appealing to other people and then sell those plots to people for wax. <coughs> Sorry. Um, so for example, uh, if I go back to my other area over here, this plot of land was mine like not that long ago. You can see it fits right in with these eight that I had and I had developed this to be uh, all solar panel threes. So it was uh, a Gen 1 plot with 20 solar panels on it that were all leveled up with five shards that went into each of them. And so this plot has the ability to charge 20 so or 
40 solar panels a solely, uh, sorry. At 20, 40, yes, it's 40 at level 3. So we can charge 40 empty power cells into full power cells uh, basically every 20 hours using these buildings. And so this plot, uh, you know, fairly valuable with all the shards and all the work and everything that went into the setup. So you can go and you can sell that for wax. You can, basically all I did was worked out the market value of each of these things and then cut 5% off that and offered it to the person who was interested. Um, <clears throat> which, like, I don't mind, you know. This is all mostly things that you gain slowly over time, buying them on the market and using your dusk to build that plot up. And so any, any profit that you take is profit. I'm sure lots of players will want to, like, maximize the actual exact value and extract what it's worth. Do many people buy plots of land with buildings already added for more of a price? So, I hustle. The thing there to remember is that uh, you need to build plots that people want, right? Like, this plot probably isn't that appealing to a lot of people. It's like, it's got some good solar panels on it. It's got, you know, maxed out uh, legendaries here. It's got a maxed out greenhouse. It's got some grind and brew. But unless you're like specifically seeking to make coffee uh, and like you want a plot that does all of it all at once this plot isn't gonna be an easy sell to somebody right because it's like mixed buildings it's 175 space gen 1 like this is gonna cost a fair bit to sell to someone uh, what do I consider the good things beside the panels well I would say if you want something to sell to someone you you should make plots that are all the same building and all the same level so if that's what i would be looking for when i was going to buy another plot so for example like another plot that i may end up selling in the future i'll just show you what i'm working on like say in the future um chem labs go through the roof they're super useful everyone wants all of them i'm building up a plot here that i will eventually put another epic chem lab on so it's a Gen 1 land, 100 space, and it'll have fi uh, four maxed out uh, epic chem labs on it. So loads of space to do just chem labs. The exact thing that you want to purchase and increase your capacity for. And I think that's how you want to build plots that people want to buy. You, you pick a building and you really develop that building on that plot. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's if you want to sell your plots. If you just want to earn dusk in game and then cash out the dusk, you can do that as well. But you're going to avoid a lot more fees, uh, by building the plots. Oh, we're building another explorer here. Interesting. I, like, have to poke around my own land sometime and remember what's going on. 100 space, 1 uncommon rover works. What are you going to add for the remaining 40 space? Oh, I have that exact plot here. <laughs> Um, maybe they want to do a giveaway for a Founder's Token. Uh, that's, that's well above my, uh, my range. Um, not selling any of my plots, 17 plots, uh, maybe become a Mars Realtor. Yeah, there you go. Great gig. Um, sometimes, I mean, if you open two access badges, you would get two access badges. Access packs, you would get two access badges. Um, what would I fill out this plot with? So if, I mean, it's so dependent on what kind of player you are, and, um, so Romeo, if, like, this is my only plot, and I'm a new player, and I don't have space for, like, anything else other than this rover works, then I'm putting, like, uh, common Gen 1 solar panels on the last bits of space that I have available to really maximize uh 60 40 so you could get uh eight gen 1 solar panels on there do i think art nft will be usable in some way in game um yeah i mean basically the philosophy so far has always been um if something doesn't have a use it will in the future that's you know like you can get matey or right from scavenging right now it doesn't currently have a use but you know the future uses of lots of these things that exist on the market. 
Uh, the best building strategy to earn dusk itself. Sorry, I don't know the end game, so I'm trying to figure it out. So, um, so the reason that we show everyone solars and we talk about solars is because it's easy to see. Uh, it's like one input, one output, super straightforward. So you can see here, um, an empty power cell costs you ten and a half, and a full power cell sells for thirteen and a half. So every time you charge your power cells, you're earning yourself three dusk. Like that's it. That's easy, easy math to do. You can scale that all the way up. You can charge 200 power cells a day by just owning a, a whole solar farm, and you can earn 200 power cells times three dusk is 600 dusk a day. Um, however, that's like super basic, so entry level. There's like way more depth and way more to figure out. Uh, okay, all right, hold on. We're going fast now. Uh, 2022 Founders Pack for buildings. Yes, that is what is in that pack. Any ideas what Solana will be like? Um, nope, no, no clue there yet. Uh, no information ready to be given out. How did I pronounce Matey? Uh, Matey. So, it's, uh, like, you know, that's, that's the pronunciation to my knowledge. Uh, that may be incorrect, but... The best way is to play and read the player guide. It tells you everything in there you need to know. I learned myself by reading. If I had questions or help, went to the Discord. But the player guide is great. Hey, fantastic. Yeah, exactly that. Um, but other ways, you can definitely earn Dusk. Like, go to the market. Look at the prices of something. And then go make that thing. So, for example, like, you saw me today making a whole bunch of plates. Because, you know, I have done some math and I looked at the numbers. And I went, yeah, okay, that's... That's a thing that I want to do right now. So even if these aren't profitable, I know I'm going to turn them into something else that will be. Um, so like growing food right now, I don't think is profitable. But uh, you can always check by looking at, you know, how much a seed would cost you, right? So I'll walk someone, you know, we can walk through the process right now. Uh, upgrading a solar panel, make it... What does level... What level does upgrading a solar panel to... Uh, so I upgrade all my commons to three and I upgrade everything else to the max. Thanks for helping me. A rare in particular. Rare, go to max. Uh, Kevin, you made a video. Yes. Uh-huh. Okay. Are we caught up? I need more info on the end game. Uh, end game is rovers right now. So you'll get there eventually. Okay. Let's look at when ROI and figure out... Um, can we show that still have not deposited it? Yeah, we can get to that in a second here. So a sprout seed on the market will cost you 0.6 dusk. You did the math? Uh, no, I never visit lamp sheets, honestly. I mean, I go to them sometimes for, like, major purchases. But, um, usually I just do this, like, this exact process. I go, okay, this sprout seed costs 0. 0.6. Let's go check out, uh, a plot on which we have a greenhouse. Welcome on in, new viewers. Yeah, you probably have to pay more money if you're uh, if you're looking for your buy orders to fill. You usually have to overpay. So for us to plant sprouts, we would need two water, uh, one power, one sprout seed, one soil, and we will get ten to fourteen food. So we can do the math, and we can say ten. We can go look at what ten food is worth, and whether it is worth two water. Even if we're not even counting the power, because one twentieth is like point two. This is 0.2, this is 0.6, the soil is going to be another one. Like a rough estimate, those two waters are going to cost one, so this maybe costs like three or four to produce. So is 10 food worth three or four dusk is all we have to go check, right? And so we go look at food, and food, 10 food is worth like less than two dusk. So like a rough napkin math in my head just glancing at this, growing sprouts is not a task I would do because it's if it is profitable, it's incredibly close, but it probably isn't based on the math where I was just looking at it, right? Yeah, so in that case, you would I would just buy my food on the market. Um, what is better to own, a rare solar or a uncommon upgraded to three? Both do the same thing, but uncommon uses this land. Yeah, but the potential for the rare to be maxed out and have that stamina gain at the highest level is going to be better. You don't calculate. Are you from America? Uh, no, I am Canadian. 
Um, we don't have enough empty. Like, we still have so many to charge here. 11, 6. Uh, you could recommend it in uh, player feedback. I'm sure somebody has suggested it. But I think that's maybe going to be part of settlements in the future. Oh, you know what? We can dump like 60 more power into this CAD. And we can go charge all of those solar panels over here. Uh, yeah, and we're going to have enough work slots to do most of these, I think. Get these last power cells plugged in. And where's this guy? Do we have 33? We don't have enough to do that last one. So we're going to need... We're still going to need to buy more empty power cells. You see, we're really just dumping power. Uh, calculated Gen 1 common is the most efficient. 100 space filled with max commons charge... Okay, so... Yes, you're correct in space usage to um, cells generated, right? So if we look at like an epic level five and we could fit five of these on that same plot and it'll charge 33 cells uh, times five solar panels is 165. So five epic solar panels will generate 15 cells less um, but you can do it in like five clicks as opposed to 40 clicks <laughs> right so you have to like click and load each common solar panel 10 so like if if your whole solar setup well you have to click on the panel click on I was counting two clicks per building but yeah you got it 20 buildings um, so depending on how massive your empire is and how many... Well, you can complete all, but you can't load all, right? You still have to load each one every time you go to each building, right? Whereas on these ones, you can charge all in the building. Upgrading common shards is expensive. Yeah, common shards are pretty expensive. That's true. Um, I wonder if we can put these 30 power cells anywhere else. I don't think we want to dump them in this rover works. We got our land surveys out there. Um, we're probably going to be wrapping up sometime soon. Just curious if anyone else has any other questions that they're wondering about, stuff that we haven't tackled. I think someone had a question about the library, so I'll try and get to that here in a second. Um, so we can talk about how to get recipes. I think that was the question. Okay, are all of these loaded up? That's loaded up. This one can have more. Thanks for the info, really helped me understand. Yeah, of course. So we're trying to do streams a little more regularly. You can just keep an eye out in the Discord. You can be following here to get more info when we're doing them. Um, oh, I put all this in here and then never turned it on. Uh, use Dusk, oh. It says that I have 21 order slots, but it also says I am at my max. Interesting. I wonder why that is the case. Whoops. Tabbed out. Reset the music by accident. My bad. Sorry to anyone who is grooving. Use Dusk for every level upgrade, which buildings... More buildings, so total cost is a factor. Yep, yeah, that's also true. See the button says maintenance. Uh, should we have? Should we plan to have buildings break down at some point? Oh, I see what you're saying. Upgrade and maintenance. So, um, one of the things to keep in mind is that Gen One buildings will not have any degradation or any um, repairs needed. So these are Gen One factories. This is. Uh, there's. Oh, I think I only have Gen Two CAD, but like Gen 1 solar panels, that kind of thing. So any any building that is Gen 1 is definitely safe from degrading. Future buildings may need to be uh, repaired over time. Um, they may be built by players. There's like lots of speculation. Just hang out in the Discord and hop in some of the later night voice chats or some of the different ones that happen. And just listen to like Mitch speculate on like what's going on in the future and where we're heading and what's going on. 
uh, currently and just like what people's thoughts are. And you'll you'll really get a good feel for like what's going on and what the plans are. Question was, can I sell second recipe that I find? Absolutely. I don't think uh, it's probably not currently. Oh yeah, it's not currently in the marketplace. But uh, in the future, you'll be able to take that second recipe and go sell it on the market to somebody interested. Um, we now have enough spare cells to charge up this last one. Uh, right, but we need 22 stamina. Can we come up with 22 stamina without... Uh, I don't think we're going to be able to. 10 to 20, 6 to 10. I don't think we can come up with that much. Mining rig level 5, what is task capacity? Uh, so basically the mining rigs get one extra slot per level. Dismantle a pirate radio? Uh, no, I think we're good. Um, I don't have the... I don't have the vibes to, to level it back up or to use it on the way back up. So that one's going to have to wait. Yeah, I think we're just going to have to sit on stamina. I have more solar slots than I have empty power cells right now. It's kind of a, an interesting place to be in. Uh, so we're going to head back over to our other lands. And, uh, yeah, I think... These ones are all full at least, but yeah, we've got like massive power uh, support. Thanks for the stream, it's been very helpful. Hey, thank you so much, I really appreciate that. Um, yeah, we're gonna try and do these regularly, help people out and uh, see what we can do in the future. Um, thanks everyone for hanging out for this hour. It's been pretty rad, you've been great to talk to. And I think we're going to actually head on over to uh, hang out with Steve, because I'm sure if Steve's not currently talking about Million on Mars, he will be in the future. And a uh, fantastic guy will go uh, hang out there for a little bit. All right. Thanks, everyone. And uh, later. <laughs>